Hello Rocket Engineer, I'm already of Scarage Space and you're watching Vehicle Overview. Today I'm gonna show you my current vehicle development in Spaceflex Simulator. Introduce Space Shuttle. With incredible details and specification just like the real one, I will show you all the aspects of the vehicle, the problem around it, and how I manage to minimize the problem. The first one is the engine. I designed the engine following the center of mass point of the vehicle from the valve until SRB separation. As you know, the fuel inside the fuel tank will be depleted during the engine burn and of course the center of mass will be different but I managed to give a little margin error with pointing the engine in the center of both full and empty axonal fuel tank center of mass point so the vehicle will not turning around uncontrollably during ascent the next one is the orbiter with all the part is just pairing I managed to give more room to the pallet section, keeping balance of the decoration and functional aspect. Instead of just focusing to the decoration aspect, but lack of the function, I keep both aspect is balanced, maximize the decoration, but more on functionality, such as the pallet space. The next one is external tank. In Spacebox Simulator, we only have one kind of fuel, which is just liquid fuel and solid fuel in the carrier mode. In real life, there is RP1, Hydrolux, and another type of fuel, which just have different mass and density. But I managed to apply this basic in SMVs. As we know, Hydrolux is less dense, but less mass than RP1. So I make the external tank is bigger, but less dense with PP edit. Instead of using 8 meter diameter fuel tank, I make it from 4 diameter but I double the X value of the part to apply this basic. The next one is SRB. Sign solid fuel is only access in the carrier mode. As we know, SRB had poor efficiency in real life, so I'm using Titan engine. This engine has high thrust but poor efficiency. But the real problem here is the SRB precision. As you know, SFS is 2D game. We can apply the position as in real life. So, I'm using pairing as the layer of decoration. But, I had the decoration without function. So, I swing the SRB fuel tank and, and put them on the bottom of SRB close to the engine. During the flight, just tap the fairing to detach the SRB and your SRB is gone. The next one is re-entry. The next problem is re-entry. The center of mass and the center of drag the vehicle is different, making the vehicle will be hard to control during re-entry. But I managed to keep both center of mass and center of drag of the vehicle relatively close to each other and adding more than one proof to adding more torque to the vehicle and make it easy to control and minimize the file margin during re-entry. And the next one is vehicle version. The vehicle comes in three different versions, which is the S version, M version, and original version. H version has its own optimization. The original version is pure BP added version without any mods. Of course, work for mobile and Steam. The next one is the M variant. This is the mod version of the blueprint, but only work on Steam. But it has vacuum engine mode by SFS Voyager. Big shout out for him. The last one is the S version. It has a custom texture, vacuum engine mode, and of course, less part. Thanks for texture mode. 
with more than 70% heart reduction, less like but only work on steam. And if you like my special goal design, download it for free in the description below. Don't forget to share this video to your friend. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe to Skyred Space for more content like this in the future. That's it for today's videos. My name is Adi of Skyred Space. See you on the next video and peace out.